If you think swimming with dolphins is expensive, try swimming with sharks. It costs an arm and a leg. It's Mike with Iceberg Gaming. I've got another World of Warcraft gold farming guide video for you guys. So this video is going to be going live on uh, Memorial Day, Monday. Uh, but members, channel members, you're getting this on Friday. So members, happy Friday. Everyone else, happy Memorial Day. So let's get into it. So today I have a alternative to my dragon farm that I often do on my channel. One of my favorite farms that I made a ton of gold off of. This was suggested in the comments section of one of my videos. So we are trying it out today. We are at the Oculus on the continent of Northrend. So this is a Wrath of the Lich King farm. It takes place at the Borean Tundra in the Caldera section of the zone, the Nexus. When you get to this zone, there are three entrances. There are two dungeons in a raid. There is the bottom level. There is the middle level. And then the top level is the raid. We are going into the middle level. And we are running the Oculus Trash. So I'm going to do this run for you guys so you can see what I do here. We're going to pop into travel form here. You're going to want to do this on a skinning character. This is a skinning farm. And if your skinner is not a worgen like me, you're going to want to make sure you've got your Dark Moon Fire Water on. Now you can do this a couple of different ways. You can kill as you go, and in which case I recommend you run with a speed food like a Bayer Tartar or something like that. Otherwise, you can do, do what I'm doing here and just pull everything and kill it all at once. So I'm just looping around, pulling everything on the first level here, all of the little dragonkin and dragon whelplings. And then I am going to come to the end here and grab these last couple, and then tuck in here the best I can. Now, we're not going to be able to hide from all of the whelps, but we'll get most of them to come to us. And then we'll hop on out and just start AOEing things down. It's hard to get them all really grouped up since they are ranged units, but that's the best we can do. So we'll go ahead and skin them all up. And this is quite a bit of leather we're getting here. I also was lucky enough to get a transmog drop during this, these runs so far, so... That is also something to look for. It is mostly for the leather, but we can also look for a little bit of transmog. The transmog item that I got is this loaded, load-headed hammer of the Fire Flash. And then once we finish up looting and skinning this first level, we're going to head out of the instance. You have a couple of options here. You can teleport to Moonglade if you are on a druid, uh, but... It takes you a little bit farther away, so what I actually recommend is that you just run out, since we're pretty close to the entrance still anyway. You can also jump off the side and die, and this will teleport you to the entrance, and then you can zone out, but you're taking durability loss, and it's not really a whole lot faster. And I just finished up my 10 runs. It took me about 18 minutes. That's less than 2 minutes for run, so this is very quick and easy. And I've got a looted item value of about 16,000 gold. And a lot of that value is coming from the couple of transmog items I picked up here. Now, I do think this is a little bit overvalued by my uh, loot appraiser uh, because I turned on market value for this run. Someone was asking me a question about market value on, uh, on my live stream last night, and I have it still set for market value. So I think it's because of this transmog item here. The load-headed hammer of the Fire Flash has a market value of about 6,000 gold. I would probably value it closer to the min buyout with the uh, with, with the 2,000, maybe even less. So I've got four transmog items here, and then a few, a few uh, disenchant items up here. And then we got 271 Borean leather, three Arctic fur, and then some cloth and icy dragon scales.
So this is a quick and easy farm and we got quite a bit of leather. I think I still like my usual dragon farm better, but this is definitely a decent alternative if you are tired of the dragon farm and you want to farm up some Vorian leather. So thank you very much to my viewer that suggested this farm and uh, thank you all for watching. We will see you next time.